Mr. Sudarshan to take over the session. Over to you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so. So your voice is not. Is it audible now, ma'am? Yes, sir. Oh. It is audible now, sir. Okay, ma'am. Let me share my screen. Okay, sir. So I hope everybody can see my screen now. So it's visible, sir. Okay, fine. Thanks for that. So now it is like the part. Sir, again your voice is not clear, sir. Most of the people might think like uh, this is not an uh, essential part with respect to technical aspect, but actually this is very relevant for uh, from a technical perspective. One minute. No, it's not clear, sir. Hello. 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 Sir, there is some disturbance. Hello. Uh, why, sir? Hello. Disturbance. Okay. Uh, wait. I think I'm getting an echo. Now it's so it's so it's like a I could. I think someone has put in a loudspeaker. I guess. Hello. Okay, fine. Now it's fine. Hello. It's clear now, sir. Okay, ma'am. Okay, okay, sir. So now let us move to the uh, final topic: uh, essential principles of uh, data visualization. Fine. Most of us think uh, like uh, data visualization is something only for reporting, and it doesn't uh, work technically or. Um, it's not going to uh, create a better value than just reporting but uh, from a tableau engineer perspective data reporting i mean uh, data visualization is not uh, just graph or charts i think uh, he tries to put a lot of his effort in making uh, the reader to get a better perception and better analysis i mean uh, better idea of what is happening in the data like uh, say for example i can develop a chart or i can develop a map whatever it may be but uh, that map is not being so easy to understand for the target audience means it is not going to be a useful thing so that my entire effort is going to be a uh, mean my entire efforts are going to be in a vein so while creating a graph the person should be very clear like uh, what he is going to do and how he is going to do like uh, what is the reason behind uh, the way in which he, are, he is pro progressing ahead like uh, he might be going towards a uh, bar chart or he might be going towards uh, graph i mean graph in the sense like line chart or he might be going towards a pie chart or heat map whatever it may be whichever type of graph he might choose should be a logical thing like um, the way in which he is going to depict the data in form of a graph should be a sensible one and uh, like uh, most of us think uh, say for example uh, next is like uh, while creating a graph or chart they i mean a graph or chart should not be like in a way 
the how, just answer to the question say for example i'm i mean uh, if i'm person ask like uh, wait uh, let us take an example like the teacher wants to uh, get i mean if the, if the teacher needs the list of marks that has been obtained by a student in a particular term exam i i should not uh, give him or her like uh, only the data say for example how much he has scored in each subject and uh, i can just uh, simply provide a bar chart like uh, how much he, how much mark he has got and uh, how much percentage he has got but uh, there is going to be just a small information but it should not be just a small information it should uh, give an um, idea to the teacher like uh, what is the reason behind the teacher i mean students of uh, poor performance or good performance whatever it may be like in which area the student is struggling say like uh, hmm, let us uh, take this kind of exam like exam where uh, people will be analyzed based on their uh, skills like uh, reasoning logical um, i mean uh, english grammar mathematical analytical i think some kind of competitive exams will be ha- means going on uh, doing this kind of uh, analysis in such cases <coughs> sorry in such cases uh, like uh, they will get to know this person this, this candidate is uh, strong in this area this candidate is not uh, so strong enough in other area like that they can analyze similarly the graph or chart should be in such a way that it just i mean it should not just answer the question what is being asked but also it should give suggestion to the person who needs the chart we can also say this via an another example like uh, i can get a list of expenses that happened for a company in one month but uh, that will just give uh, information to the accountant but in case if i want to produce uh, if i want to give a better report for a higher cadre people like uh, management people means how should i provide them i need to give like categorize them like uh, for this set of purpose i have done this much of expense say for example like uh, for transport this much expense for raw material procurement for this much expense for salaries and wages this much expense and then uh, utilities bill like electricity then uh, maybe sometimes machine might get a problem and in such cases uh, how much expenses i have given for overall like like uh, all those kind of expenses i will be chart i am listing in a chart and i can give all this information in a pie graph but uh, uh, th- will that be a useful thing i don't think so because like uh, it will just give an information which we have taken from the ledger book but what does the top management team needs like uh, how can he increase his profit and how can he reduce the expenses and for that uh, we need to give all this information like uh, we need to categorize them instead of listing out all the expenses one by one we need to give classify them i mean we need to classify them in such a way like uh, one utilities i mean uh, utility expenses two uh, labor expenses three uh, raw material procurement expenses like that we need to classify uh, and then we need to give a graph in such a way most of the graph should be like a comparative graph because i mean in case if uh, this pers- i mean for this purpose of uh, requirement is that means uh, say for example i mean uh, whenever a client or a person ask for a report then uh, if it is for a reduction in cost or analysis then we need to give a comparative chart most for uh, probably comparative chart will be like a dual axis chart a uh, dual axis chart will be having a, um, a line graph and a bar chart i'll show you what is a dual axis graph and how to make it uh, let me take uh, if i want to uh, find one comp- if you want to do a comparison let me take a customer and uh, how much uh, sales has happened for that customer and similarly how much profit he or she had obtained um i have made them as a dual axis dual axis in the sense like um
okay so most of us like uh, might think now uh, going for different different colors of chart different different types of chart will you give more interest to us but actually it is not whenever we are going to choose our, uh, the graph pattern which is uh, which we wants to be there in a dashboard we need to think whether this graph pattern is really needed for our concept or our context and we need to accordingly choose the graph see whenever you are going towards any comparison say for example now uh, and i'm sorry ah uh, so aaron smiling uh, the sales is 6710 how much is the profit 422 so like uh, this helps us to analyze uh, some companies might give more profit but sales might be less some companies will be giving more sales but profit would be less so like uh, we can give what kind of companies are giving more profit with the better sales i mean with lesser sales like that the, i mean this thing will be used for share markets like uh, some companies might be giving only less amount of shares share values i mean share count but uh, we can get more share values i mean in terms of worth maybe for example say let us it is this is an example sba banks one share might be some 1000 rupees we might get some 10000 shares which means uh, uh, it might be summing up some one crore something like that i'm not sure but in In HDFC, the bank share value might be something around the three thousand or something like that. But you might get only some five hundred shares. How much itself it costs? So like that, we need to choose. This helps us to choose like a which product is much better when compared to other for comparative analysis. And few people might think like uh, coloring the graph is very important. Coloring in the sense like. Uh, giving different types of colors to a graph say for example i'll show you one example here let me take a longitude see uh, some people might think like uh, let me just uh, see here okay fine so some people might think uh, this kind of graph is uh, more colorful and uh, it will give you more value to the report but actually not true because uh, we are going to give information about sales and uh, it is not like uh, the person requires the country graph i mean uh, he is not going to look into the atlas book he just needs to understand like uh, how much is the sales in each of every country and uh, what is the gradient of that so how should we look into it means i'll tell you now uh, let us make it this way show filter okay fine now so this will give more information for the user like more amount of sales has happened in france and in germany and in U uk so like uh, then they need to concentrate on other countries to in order to improve their sales in india the sales is not so impressive so like this um, depends on like uh, the user need not required to see the graph in more colorful manner but instead the user should uh, view the map i mean view the view the chart in a sensible way so this has given us more information while the earlier map did did uh, whether can you see the difference between this graph and that graph both are more contradictory like this will give you the number i don't say no but uh, this graph is not so sensible like uh, this will not help us to remind i mean while looking at this graph we need to search like where i mean which country is giving more sales like that we need to search but if you go for this map you will get an easy idea like uh, okay fine these three countries are uh, sales is more like so we need to look into other countries or we need to do some more um, things in order to improve even more profit in these three countries like that the person can analyze okay fine uh, so next is like creating a dashboard 
uh, the, I mean, creating the dashboard should be like a story. Same, same example I can say. This example will clearly identify, I mean, help you to understand like, okay, sales is there in more, I mean, sales, more sales is there in these three countries. While the other graph, I mean, other chart will not give you that information. So this is how the graph making process or the chart making process should be. Like uh, making the graph or a chart should help you to understand everything. It should not require a separate person to uh, and just make the clients understand each and everything because that is a redundant process, which is not desirable one. And uh, we need to un understand and uh, I mean, understand the need and process of the visualization method. Okay. So like, um, hmm, there are different types of, uh, visualization methods and type we can see from these things say these are heat maps and this is pre map and uh, these things and all like uh, it is not under one more thing like uh, it is not always required like we need to enter all those things in terms of graphs or chart sometimes even table might be a good option maybe in case if um, you're going to give information like uh, very small amount of information, maybe a five column table or six column table, then obviously you can go for a table. It's, if it, the data is like, I mean, the volume of data is very large, then only you need to prefer this uh, charts and those things and all. <coughs> okay, so while choosing uh, which chart we need to import for uh, which type of this thing, then we need to go for this, uh, I mean, we need to pick the proper chart. Say, for example, if you're going to do a comparative strategy, say, for example, you want to compare the percentage of, of uh, sales in total sales. How will you do that? We can go for this. Uh, I mean, uh, we, can, we need to create a set for that. Creating set is nothing but uh, let me go, it, go through this way. Sales. Here, I'm going to make a quick table calculation, like a percentage of total. Now I can get uh, how much uh, France holds. So uh, France is holding like a 29.23 percentage of the entire sales which has happened across the globe. So like this, we can understand. In this case, like um, Okay, uh, so we need to be very careful and cautious like uh, when we are choosing this type of graph and those things and all. Okay, so like uh, what are the basic charts means like most of the people will be using uh, these three, th I mean these three charts. One is like a bar chart and another one is pie chart. And when should we need to use the stacked bars? Stacked bars is well used while uh, stacked bars and side by side bars. Let me show you an example of. Okay, fine. Okay, uh, so these kind of charts can be used uh, while doing um, 
comparison in sports field like a comparison between two players like how much they have scored in each and every calendar year player a and player b during each and every year those things can all, can be done here okay mm. let us take this with this scenario i want to find a sales and the profit of a customer i want to find out the data only for the year so for I want it only for the year 2016, and uh, this thing I would like to compare with. Uh, customer name. show filter i'm going to compare okay i'll just compare these two alone and uh, let me compare for the all the years show filter okay and how it is going to be compared means uh, month okay so hide this okay so like uh, we can understand uh, so this kind of comparisons can be done in a better way for using this um, side by side bars so this three charts are together called as sister charts like uh, all these three okay so the i mean uh, i told like uh, these three charts like uh, bar chart uh, side by side chart 
and stack river are called as sister charts like uh, these all these three belongs towards the same family like uh, mostly uh, the situations will be same whenever we are going to use these three charts while a line chart and area charts are similar i mean all those two are called as sister charts like uh, the scenario where we are going to use these charts are going to be the same and uh, whenever we'll be uh, when we'll be using uh, line chart means like uh, whenever the data source is like continuous in case if the data source is discrete discrete in the sense like uh, the data which we have is not like a continuous i mean uh, it is not there for entire period then it is called discrete chart in such cases we'll be going towards a bar chart and if the data is there for entire um, in to say like uh if the data is not there for an entire period of time then it is called as a discrete chart i'll show you an example um i'll show you uh, remove uh, i'm going to find the sales jan march where is the february month has gone if i i'm going to make it a uh, mof so now it is in the form of uh, this thing jan march so for these kind of things like uh, you need to go for a bar chart for discontinuous data and for continuous data it is preferred to use like uh, line graphs and uh, this is like an extended form of line chart so we can use if uh, actually this being this can be used um, in scenarios like um, when something is dominating the other say like we can give the same example like uh, remove remove customer name profit sales okay so now you would have understood like what is the difference between these three like uh, this is sales and this is profit i mean profit value or loss whatever it may be uh, people might think like uh, i mean from a business person i am telling they might think like uh, their company's profit or should be greater than um, this profit i mean sales profit should not be like um, negative so they will be comparing like that uh, i mean dominating kind of uh, chart and uh, these charts are actually uh, can also these charts can also be used in cases like um, hmm, political so can you show again how you have done this which one ma'am this one yeah yeah okay ma'am okay so i have just put a customer name here then i'm going to put uh, the sales here and uh, profit so this is like a, a scenario where i have got information for both sales and profit now i'm going to compare this i'm going to put dual axis so now it should be clear for you like uh, so the profit should not be going down in this case that is a task and uh, this can be used in case of like a political um, whenever people go for this survey political survey they can use this kind of things graph uh these are all mostly technical graphs which are uh, not suitable for us these things can be used to by data scientists these are nothing but circle graphs this thing is actually 
it's not uh, preferable to use uh, this pie chart in Tableau for a large number of data because uh, the uh, resolution of the picture is not so impressive. And, uh, this is like a heat map. This heat map can be used to like, uh, say for example, uh, if a chemical analyst is uh, trying to um, evaluate the nature of the material that is being used uh, in all the test cases. Say for example, if he is going to compare, I mean, he is going to react um, chemical element A with the chemical element B. And uh, I mean, the chemi chemical element one is being tested with the n number of chemical elements. Then what is the reaction between, like uh, how much the ratio of the reaction between these two, all those things can uh, give with uh, this information. Based on this information, he can, uh, understand um, like uh, which is the most corrosive element and those things and all uh, I'll, I'll tell you this, um, for example fe plus nacl um plus nacl So this is an example, like first one is iron plus uh, sodium chloride. Like uh, what happens if uh, sodium chloride is mixed with iron? How much corrosion has happened? Which gives a value. Similarly, like a phosphorus combined on combination with the sodium chloride, what happens, how much corrosion it has happened? So this will give you more information. And this information you can use like uh, for uh, ship building. Ship builders can use this information. They can find out like uh, which material can be used in order to uh, get less corrosion in uh, while moving in water. So these are, this is an applied example like uh, where the heat maps can be used. I'll give you an another example like um, for example, Sachin is playing um, the balls. Uh, the re uh, pitch can be classified into two, three or four regions like uh, short, full, length, Okay, fine. Three should be fine. Like, uh, how much? We need to compare like how much boundary she has scored whenever the ball pitches in this region. Like, you would have all seen this in a cricket match. In such cases, like uh, based on this information, the bowler can understand. Okay, if we bowl the ball in this direction at this speed, uh, which the uh, river swings or a uh, out swing whatever in swing or out swing whatever it may be and in such cases how the batsman will play and uh, where he or she should um, put the player in the ground like that they need uh, they can analyze this all these things happened in a uh, in a real life say for example this really happened in 2007 i guess when sachin was playing against england so this was the analysis which they did in the I main uh, which england team did at that time in order to get the wicket of uh, Sachin. So, what is the other graph? Uh, okay, fine. Like, a uh, beautiful thing in Tableau is like, uh, this allows us to give more information about um, this thing, which is nothing but a, a geographical graph. The major advantage of this geographical graph is like, uh, it's a good thing, but uh, it is not always necessary to find this thing. Because sometimes uh, the simple chart graphs, I mean, simple chart graphs like a pie chart, bar chart, line chart should be more than enough to fulfill our solution. In such cases like, uh, mm, ah, maybe um, state-wise uh, election results and all can be calculated based on this. Uh, then uh, hmm, traffic analysis based on the region of a uh, country or state can be analyzed using these things. Say for example, uh, I'm from Bangalore, so uh, in a few places in Bangalore, like um, areas like uh, Silk Road, which is more hectic in terms of traffic, uh, then comes Madiwala, then comes Kayakuram, and uh, similarly those kind of places like uh, where traffic is more at run time, I can find, and then I can ask them like uh, I mean I can ask people like this is the this is not the proper route to go right now, and it has got more traffic, so please take another route like that. Uh, this automation can be done from Tableau which will suggest more options for us.
so right now i'm giving you all the possible real time opportunities which you might can also use during your um, maybe your thesis or phd whatever it may be like uh, whenever uh, you feel like uh, then uh, histogram graphs and all like uh, more technical like uh, only statisticians will be doing working on those things and all gun chart and those things and all uh, bubble chart this bubble chart is actually uh, mostly used i mean uh, used for this uh, stock markets say so, like uh, they will be calculating i mean uh, classifying the companies into few classific i mean uh, categories like a uh, good going company average moving company and a slow moving company like a uh, growth of the share based on these things like um, <coughs> they will classify say like um, let me close this thing i don't want to explain it this if i let me explain it this itself um, country malaysia okay so <clears throat> okay fine so when do we use bubble charts means whenever you are giving a presentation to i mean uh, to our delegates or clients for it maybe we'll classify them in the run time say let me make a dashboard and explain you filter let me push this in your dashboard say for example whenever i am going to explain this information to my client how will i do that usually we'll be explaining them with the dashboard and in dashboard we'll be uh, explaining them with these kind of filters so first i mean whenever the person explains like uh, we will they'll be classifying the countries like uh, this is the more profitable country so most profitable countries will be in the top place and they will be named okay so in france germany italy and uh, spain there are more sales okay so now let us come to second tier second tier should not include the all the about three countries so here comes united kingdom has another more sale austria then then comes belgium india norway finland so like this it goes uh, let me tell you a clear example for this say for example whenever a marketing analyst makes a presentation in front of uh, management he will uh, analyze each and every country's uh, status for example, so for that he need to put like this say ah let us make it as a full fledged example itself mm. remo uh, remo Uh, let us take this as uh, sales versus profit country and uh, let this okay 
so here we need to put a country and we need to compare the same with the sales and profit let me make it as a dual axis okay uh, we need to get a filter for countries then okay fine Here, in our case, it's not required. So, so now we are going to put a sales business profit. Okay. Okay, fine. So how does the presenter expand? Explains now. Let me tell you. Like uh, he is going to you the country's information initially this is the how the dashboard looks like so the top moving companies or fast moving countries like uh, includes france italy germany uk and spain how can we reduce them like uh, we need to find the next top tier and uh, he will be explaining like uh, okay fine in france let me take a scenario of france so france and uh, germany Spain, Italy, so these are all aspects in uh, data in uh, visualization, we need to visualize, I mean we need to put this in a proper size, proper location and all those things. Okay, so like uh, now we can compare the difference between sales between France, Germany, Italy, Spain, and profit. I mean, uh, sales and profit among these three, these four countries. So like in France, sales and profit both are high, and in Germany, uh, sales is high, profit is uh, even more high when compared to sales, and in Italy, uh, profit is less when compared to sales. So in Italy, the company should uh, give better options i mean the country should give better incentives and beneficiary subsidiary schemes for uh, the companies to improve their uh, profits and those things and in uh, spain again the profit is high when compared to sales so similarly we need to analyze so how does the uh, <coughs> the <coughs> marketing analyst works in this in this case he will be comparing the data so top movie countries are done now comes the next level of movie countries in next level of movie countries we have uh, 
this actually should have Italy as well. Okay. I mean UK as well. Okay. Now comes Austria. Like this, he'll be explaining for each and every country. Austria. Then comes Belgium. Sweden, Finland, Norway. <coughs> Sweden, Finland, Norway. Okay, so these uh, three four countries comes under um, average moving countries. Like uh, these countries are having uh, not. I mean, these countries are not having more sales. So like this, we need to analyze. So what can be done in these countries in order to improve more? Uh, benefits of uh, companies and those things are all like that the manufacturer I mean, marketing analyst works on and then he will uh, explain to his clients then okay as i told like understanding the significance of uh, these graphs in the dashboards true like uh, first step should be this and then it should be followed by this so accordingly the graph should be placed in the dashboard if in case if we have put these things here and then if you could have these things here like um, this is not a good approach usually like uh, while reading a book also we'll be reading from left to right so it's a normal human tendency to do, read everything from uh, left to right so we'll be uh, looking into the left side of the book or left side of the note whatever it may be we'll be looking at the left side first and then we'll be looking towards the right side these are like etiquettes like uh, this is how the report should look like it should be like one after the other so there should not be any confusion this is like uh, this is an uh, approach like how the dashboards can be made for a company see like in case if you would have done in opposite direction then uh, We'll be looking into this thing. We'll not get any idea. We don't because there is no information. Say for example, there is no information. In case if all the sales report measure names and countries would have come here, then country analysis and sales would have come here means then this would have this space would have been empty. You would not have understood like what is happening in this uh, table. So it is mandatory thing like uh, the order should be clear. First, the person should have read this. Then, uh, okay, fine. So they will get an idea. Okay, France is having more sales. Let us check the case of France with respect to sales and profit. Okay, fine. Both are top and good. Then comes um, Germany. Okay, in Germany also, uh, like profit is good when compared to sales. Okay, fine. Then Italy. Then Spain. So they will be working like this. Okay, fine. This is good. So like a first, I mean, while well, like uh, the way in which the graph, should, I mean, the dashboard should be like means uh, it should be in terms of orderliness. Like, uh, okay, what happens first and what should come next? That is how the dashboard should look like. And the data visualization needs perception breakthrough analysis easy understanding formulating future objectives financial resource management these these are all the points which i was explaining right now like uh, needs perception perception in the sense like how the reader is going to be uh, how the reader's perception is like uh, what is the perception in which the reader is going to see the data this is called um, perception and uh, tableau developer should uh, develop in from the perspective of the client the so-called client is like a person who is going to read the data okay then breakthrough analysis breakthrough analysis is like a c here what is the breakthrough we have found like among the fast moving countries sales is i mean profit is less in italy alone what is the reason because there could not be some uh, possible environment, I mean, suitable environment for business. So, like the government needs to take up, I mean, uh, necessary steps not to improve the profit. 
So like that, this is the breakthrough. Breakthrough means a solution, solution for a problem. So in all these countries, the profit is either equal or more than sales, but not in Italy alone. What could be the reason? So he will get uh, the reason like, okay, fine. This is the reason like why the data is not, I mean, why the profit is not good. So it has given you the breakthrough to solve the problem. Then, uh, so can I ask question? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, in the tableau, there is one something called as image in that horizontal vertical. What is that? Sorry, ma'am. Objects, uh, objects. On the left corner, objects, horizontal, vertical. I think those are layouts. So there is one image option also there. What is that? Oop, up, above that. Image, what is that? Wait, ma'am. So you can uh, add any images, say for example, let me take an example. I can put any images like that here. We can just add an image here. And if you want to add any web link, so like can, company logo or something, education yes, institute yes. logo like that can be added. Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. And if you want to add any website URL, then you can add it here. Achha, the, so that we can uh, share it with uh, anyone. So it's like a Tableau no, public like, uh, version. No, no, no. Uh, this is Tableau, the public version. The edit URL uh, features advantages like uh, in case if while demonstrating this information, if I want to uh, go for another data source like uh, internet source there, then I can click on that link and I can navigate to that. I can show you an example. Then I can come back again to this thing and I can explain you again. I mean, continue to explain you. Okay, okay. Okay. Then uh, <clears throat> these are like a layout. What is the width and height? I mean, height it should be those things and all. <clears throat> Easy understanding is a common term. Okay. Then formulating future objectives. Okay. Yes, here the formulating future objectives like uh, the sales might be, I mean, a profit might be less for the company or the country. Maybe because of due to uh, excessive tax alleviation for a uh, I mean, local tax like what or gst whatever it may be in their country uh, so they will understand okay for this industry the tax is much higher so we need to reduce it so that the companies will get more profit which in turn improves the gdp of a country like that they will get uh, future objectives <clears throat> then uh, finance and resource management so this can be explained with an example like um, <coughs> hmm, productivity human resource count like uh, whenever the human resource I mean uh, for example there might be some hundred machines in a factory and uh, there are only hundred employees in a company in such cases the employee I mean productivity might be equal to one machine into um, one user one person I mean one resource response perspective like uh, in case if uh, one day like a five person would have been absent in such cases the productivity would have gone down in case like um, for a long period of time maybe for six months uh, in uh, similar to these kind of absent uh, occurrences like uh, the productivity would have come down and then in such cases what they need to do they need to uh, add a few more human resources in order to maintain the productivity in case while adding more resources by maintaining this productivity, they might uh, need to spend more amount for human resources. Then what could be the solution for that? This is a case scenario actually which has happened. Then they need to go for shift working. In shift working, people might work in first shift. I mean, the first shift in the sense like day shift and few people might work in the night shift. Few people might have gone for some, could have taken leave for some cases. And those people might work in the night shift. In such cases, using, using these alternatives, the productivity could have been maintained. So this in turn maintains the productivity and also gives a proper uh, human resource balance and also uh, like um, <clears throat> what to say, it gives good continuity for the company. Yes. 
then and uh, one more thing final thing is like uh, you are not the only person who are going to visualize your data uh, but of course like uh, you should have your own signature like uh, this is how you should do me uh, for example each and every data analysis engineer and each and every data visualization engineer has their own way of uh, creating a graph and chart but uh, it should not like uh, since i'm going to add more data i mean more data and i'm going to make it more colorful that should not be the signature but uh, the clarity should be there in the data you can have your own signature like uh, for this thing you'll be using this kind of chart for this process you'll be using this kind of graphs you can use it in your own way but uh, the data should be very clear that is the major task i mean end of the day like uh, the clarity in the data is more important so now let us move towards a scenario based question i have a scenario for you all like uh, so i need answers from you all through chat okay so you are asking for a heat map with a sample demo uh, sample okay ma'am i'll give you uh, maybe at the end of the session so we are going to see a practical demo with a sample data set okay um let me close this okay mm, so what is the scenario now uh, government of india wants to do the following amendments in traffic rules and regulations act okay fine uh, so according to that uh, find the list of data on traffic congestion in various states want to find out which regions vehicle is vehicles movement is more i mean in which state the vehicles movement is more want to find out uh, in which state heavy vehicles are traveling a lot then uh, find states where to strengthen the pollution control rules okay so let us <clears throat> take the sample data set okay let me create a sample data set uh, okay so this is a sample python code which actually gives you information about uh, vehicles movement in uh, various metropolitan cities and what type of vehicles it is uh, and the vehicle registration list like uh, license plate of each and every vehicle and then uh, be a stage list is this, it you know, sorry ma hello is is this data is created by you or is it available yes. i'm creating using this python code okay 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 so now let us see let us generate a data source using this so it has created a 5000 records data now let me open that so it has got 5000 rows let us move to table connect to data excel file um let me go to desktop excel wt okay so now we have got this thing what is our first scenario find the list of data on traffic congestion in various states
So since we have asked for state analysis, we need to go for a geographical map. state okay fine so like uh, these are the states and uh, let me create a calculated field um, vehicles count vehicles underscore count i'm going to find the count of um, Vehicle type and okay. So from this, you have got to know like uh, okay. So from this uh, graph, you have got to know like in Uttar Pradesh, the movement of traffic, I mean, vehicles are more, which means like uh, we need to do something in order to reduce the congestion in uh, Uttar Pradesh, while in other countries, it is much comparatively. Actually, in my, uh, real case, it is not true, but according to my data set, it is like this. Sir, uh, what is there in vehicle type? What are the vehicle values in vehicle type? Vehicle type includes like what are different types of vehicles, like uh, two wheelers, Public vehicles. Okay. 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 Then comes. Uh, then what is the scenario? Then uh, want to find out right in which region vehicles movement is more. For this, like uh, we can save this as vehicle density map. Now let us take another scenario. Like uh, in this case, we need to find states where to and the political, I mean, the pollution control rules. Let me take the state. Go count. the stage okay okay so this would have given you information like uh, what are the different types of uh, stages say for example like uh, let me check whether we can make it uh, in terms of percentage. And what is BA stage? This pollution control, like uh, recently, government of India has announced like uh, BS4 vehicles and the BS5 vehicles are being stopped and BS6 vehicles alone is being launched in order to reduce the pollution. Okay, so that means it contains the value as BS4, BS5, BS6, like that? Yes, yes. Okay. So, like uh, BS4 vehicles in Andhra Pradesh has a two, is about 248, which means 4.961 percentage. And uh, this thing looks like a 5 percentage and uh, this is 4.91 percentage. Like uh, this much amount of vehicles are being traveling in uh, like Andhra Pradesh. These kind of information we can get. So, this is to... Uh, for fourth scenario, for uh, strict and political um, pollution. So this is a categorical data, right? This BA stage that it is already you are having in terms of four, five, and six. But if uh, instead of this uh, categorical data, if I'm having a, a continuous data, like uh, in terms of uh, like values, numeric values, then okay. uh, what could be the uh, steps that I have to follow to convert that continuous data to categorical data and then utilizing it for uh, this uh, map? 
Uh, can you please give me a scenario like uh, which you have? Uh, so, okay. Uh, so in here, uh, pollution control. Uh, if I'm having a numeric value, that what kind of uh, pollution amount I'm having, and if that is in terms of numeric values, like. Uh, no i don't know uh, how it is measured but suppose like out of 100 i'm telling uh, that um, um, maharashtra state is uh, 89 then bangalore is uh, na, suppose uh, 90 and then uh, uttar pradesh is 70 madhya pradesh is 60 so that like that these continuous values if i'm having instead of having this bs 4 3 and 5 then for these continuous values if i have to convert it into the uh, you know categorical way so like example how the marks ma ma uh, sorry um, marks of the students are given like they are having a marks of the students like in terms of 35 45 36 46 so if i want to convert is like those who are how we gave grade that uh, 75 above is a grade then 60 to 70 is b grade so like that if i want to convert then what is the provision uh, uh, available in tableau for that Uh, to convert your continuous to, to uh, categorical yes for the you to create a capital field like uh, grade a um like uh, there's something vehicles count less than um uh, 200 grade a okay okay now let me take the uh, grade b Greater than two hundred, and vehicles count less than ah two fifty. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. so uh, this will give you information like in ap uh, grade c is more so it is available and uh, in kerala maybe i think all together the value should be everything uh, should be greater than 250 that is why it's uh, always so increased <laughs> yes like all together some is like 240 200 i mean yeah, 600 650 
770. This all together uh, complex becomes 700. So let me change the values. Yeah, yeah, understood, understood, sir. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, thank you. So like this, now we need to categorize them and then we need to import this into the graph. So what is the next case? I want to find in which state heavy vehicles are traveling a lot. State heavy vehicles. We just need heavy vehicles. Maybe I can take it as a four wheeler heavy vehicle. And uh, it is count related. We can do, can do something with the date. Gentle vehicle movement. Let us take a date wise scenario. No.
So now let us create a dashboard. Say like a, so this is uh, okay, fine. Uh, vehicles count. Let us make it. Pollution analysis was last scenario. So let us make it. Yes, we have more. So let us put it uh, this way. Okay. Then what is the next scenario? Find out in which retail vehicle moment is general vehicle moment. Sir, is there any rule that how many slides we can place in a dashboard? No, ma'am. Uh, there is no such rule, but uh, it should be up to certain extent. Like uh, there is no more confusions come into the dashboard. Okay. You are a 
Actually, this is making a bit clumsy here with the remote stream dashboard. <coughs> uh, since both are showing same kind of color format, let me remove. Okay, so now I think uh, now it should be okay. Vehicle to the map, then follow the general vehicle movement uh, in each and every state. Then uh, details of both uh, heavy vehicles movement alone. In heavy vehicles movement alone, we can remove this. Actually, this is not required because already we have mentioned here heavy vehicles movement. So now we have got uh, much more space. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, even this is also not required in most of the cases because based on this intensity or uh, generic tendencies, like uh, if it is more dark, then it is more severe. So we can comparatively, uh, in case if it is not required, then we can remove this thing so that it will give you even more space. We can put all, bring all these things down together. We can put the logo of government of India, transport department, and uh, we can do it like that. So this is a sample case study of uh, tra I mean, uh, traffic analysis. So is this clear for you? Yes. Okay. So is there anyone having any doubt? Yes, sir. Sorry. Just tell me, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, left side and right side. Uh, sorry, ma'am. Yes, sorry, sir. Hello. In a sheet, how to draw two figures, left side and right side? How to draw two sides? Sorry, I don't understand your question. Two charts, two charts in the same figure, same chart, same sheet. But one is left side and other one is right side. How to okay. merging to one is line chart and other one is Instagram? How to merge it? In the same sheet. Same sheet. Not right. Uh, line chart and Instagram. How to merge it in the same same sheet? Line chart and histogram. We can go for the dual axis. Uh, I'll show you. Ah, uh, dual axis, sir. Can you tell me that? Okay.
Okay, first for this uh, histogram, then same I'm going to compare with the profit. Here like that. Let me make it a circular axis. Is it okay, sir? Hello. My, my thinking it should be overlapped. Overlapped in the sense like? Right. Now, now okay. Overlapped. Now good. Okay. Okay, fine, sir. So, any other questions from anyone? Any more questions from the participants? Wait, wait to correct the sheet. Sorry, this double sheet out where to select double. I mean, uh, you need to click uh, on this arrow mark, I mean, down arrow, and then you have to click dual access. Okay, dual access. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Welcome, sir. Any more questions? Hello. Hello. Question from the participants. It's time to conclude the session. So, uh, thank you, Susan, sir for such an enlightening uh, and entertaining presentation. So we have a question. Question, sir? Hello. Sorry, your voice is not clear. So can you hear me now, sir? Uh, I'm hearing some noise in between. So now, sir? OK, fine. Uh, tell me. So Mr. Uh, Rajesh Kumar, he has a question. How to connect tabli with the Oracle database? Uh, I think I have shown you the screenshot itself. Let me tell you. Once. But uh, it seems uh, he wants to summarize the procedure once again. Okay. I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So this is how uh, Oracle database has to be connected. Let me tell you the steps in order. First one is like uh, you need to install Oracle Tableau driver. I have shown you like uh, where can you download that Oracle. So here you can download the driver and you can install it. Install this like a very simple process like next, next, next. Then uh, after installing this, you need to go to Tableau and uh, here to uh, be to, I mean to a server you will get more options like uh, oracle postgre sql mongodb and uh, you'll be getting all the list of uh, popular databases here after clicking oracle you'll get uh, this screen uh, the screen here you need to enter the ip address of the server where the database is running I mean, uh, then the service name port number after entering all those things you can you need to give uh, the username and password here then it's normal sign in. In case uh, the, if the Tableau administrator has given you access in the I mean admin console, then using this integrated authentication, you can log in. Uh, for this, uh, while using this integration integrated authentication, it doesn't require username and password because by default your machine uh, has been uh, included into that uh, audit. I mean uh, we used to call it as Active Directory. So this is how you need to connect with the uh, Oracle database. Hello, sir. Uh, yes. Sir, I have a question that a company, how a company work on a, on a Tableau, if there is a Tableau in a data set, there is a null value. So how company can overcome it, how overcome it? 
if there are any tool how to remove null value from there because if we take average it will affect our any any graph good question wait let me show you See here, we need to remove, I mean, uh, not we need to just into non-null values. Okay, sir. But if there is null value, it can affect our, uh, yes. as we uh, can. If you do this, it will take only non-null values. Sir, but as we take average, it will affect null values affect. Yes, sir, I, I agree with you. Uh, while taking average, your yeah, null values data set. will affect it. Yes. Which can remove case. null values and our result will be? Uh, so, the other option might be like uh, you can connect. Okay. Uh, we Voice can. Uh, Hello. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. I'll let you. I'll tell you. Sir. How company can do a work in Tableau if there is a null value? Any of the error? Uh, we'll be removing those noises using a uh, creative. I mean, uh, I have told, I have shown you another option like creative, calculated fields. Yes, sir. In the calculated fields, we need to write a condition like uh, the value should not be a null. Yes. Maybe uh, wait. I'll show you. Maybe uh, this might have some kind of error because of the data set, but like this, we need to create a formula so that it will exclude the null values and then it, it will uh, create a separate column and you can just uh, drag and drop dot column here. Okay, sir. So, anything else? Any queries from the participant? Anyone else want to clarify any queries? Because we haven't come to the session. So we have come to the end of the session. Thank uh, you, sir, for making such an interesting session on a uh, tablet. Thank you so much, sir. Dear participants, uh, please fill the feedback form that has been posted in the chat. And uh, we'll be meeting tomorrow morning once again at 10 a.m. to gather more insights on tablet. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice day. Uh, I'll post my email ID and mobile number here. Uh, whoever needs, uh, please take it. Sure, sir. Thank you so much, sir.
थैंक यू so that's on thank you thank you ma'am thank you for your session and your time thank you so much okay